This is a poem called Colours. And it basically is about colours. And most of the first half is just names of colours. But I've made up most of them. And then the second half is a kind of little reflection upon that. Colours. Burleywood. Chartreuse. Gainsborough. Ghost White. Greenberg. Maroon. Orchid. Mocassin. Peru. Demosthenes. Snow. Papaya Whip. Popper. Peach Puff. Hot Pink. Hot Hot. Dark Red. Dark Grey. Dodger Blue. Drudgery. Derrida. Fuchsia, fondle, fricassee, firebrick, fenfall, coral, corn silk, crimson, coleridge, coolidge, honeydew, hellbore, hartshorn, honegirl, jet, jellyby, lavender blush, lascar, light cyan, light light, grey, grey green, garrulous, go lightly, garrick. Indignant, insolence, irked, ivory, ilk, Jeremiah, Asclepius, goldenrod, Arivist, glock, cyan, chocolate, cadet blue, camisole, fallen grey, flecked, lost blue, amaretto, shrubbery, yearning, absinthe, abstinence, Grey holes in green. Had these been voices, the wind might have sung them through a hedge or an empty head. It was winter, then spring, then summer, then autumn, thunder and lightning, the beating of a red drum. Had it been blue guitar or purple rose or black Sunday, had it been brown study, devil's dyke, or dun, as in dunnock, had it been greyfriar or red eye or permanganate or potassium, had their names been their being, had the retina been in service, had the hot stores burned away with the seasons, had it been anything but dinner in the provinces, had the spectrum not gone awry, had it ever fallen out like this, with the light lost in the jungle of the voice, with its brilliance, and dust. <laughs> honor. We woke to find ourselves in a land of honor. The maps were bold but hardly accurate. The capital kept shifting and the trains did not run on time. We needed a leader to make it happen. We needed a leader to show us where honour lay. We needed the back streets, the alleys, the sewers of honour to be clean and presentable. And yet we were always aware of the nature and psychic geography of each of its cities. We lived them and walked them. We caught its night buses, hailing its taxis. Beyond the borders of honour is wilderness. Beyond the borders of honour, the creatures don't know their place in a peaceable kingdom, nor do we know it, we who inhabit it. I woke myself dreaming of honour, the peaceable kingdom, speaking its language, its impeccable grammar, perfectly formed in the cavern of my mouth, the attic of my brain, the cellars of my gut. So honour was mine. And the maps were redundant. So honour was spoken throughout the peaceable kingdom. So honour the omphalus, the lodestone, the centre. So honour that most honourable estate, where nothing runs on time, but the burnings proceed every evening in our habitations, our tunnels, in all the beautiful corpses of creatures, in the words of my mouth. Pride. The watch ticking, the back straightening, the shoulder broadening, the head rising clear of the neck, the hand waving, the crowd proceeding, the birds in the square scattering, 
the heart filling the spaces prepared for it, the soil parting, the first shoots extending, the tree that is forever to be growing, the leaves thrust together in the wind through the branches. <laughs>